Category, please. Well, what do we have here? You get it right, I'm giving you $1,000. Forward March. If you hit the snooze alarm on your biological clock, which of the following would you not be postponing? Circanual rhythms, circadian rhythms, Cambrian rhythms, or ultradian rhythms? Nope, circanual rhythms are what cause seasonal affective disorder. You know how, like, uh, around the holidays you get fat, and then during the summer you stay fat? <laughs> What do you say we check out the right answer? Ah! Ultradian, circadian, and circanual are all biological rhythms. Cambrian is a geological period, and there's no such rhythm as Cambrian rhythm. Well, technically there is, but it's only 43% effective. All right, I need a category. We're calling this one. Is it okay if I use Elton's, John? I'll give you 4,000 clams for this bad boy. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Suppose during an Elton John concert, a candle in the wind splatters hot wax all over his outfit. If he's savvy, what will Elton make with the suit? A batik, a lithograph, an intaglio, or a patina? <laughs> Judges? <laughs> Here's the one the winners pick. <laughs> You make batik by dyeing fabric with wax on it. The dye only soaks the portions without wax. Oh, and before I forget, if I hear that song one more time, someone's gonna have a really bad case of candle in the wind pipe. Give me a category. Coming at ya, cats who walk erect. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. All right, give me your best shot. Suppose a tomcat is out looking for some tail. What type of kitty is bound to disappoint the lusty feline? Tabby, Chesser, Manx, or Siamese? Most Manx cats are tailless. So if the tomcat is looking for some tail, he's not going to go there. Personally, I'll date any cat, as long as it's been declawed. Throw me a category. Well, look what you just happened upon, my little friend. You got yourself a this or that. The category for this this or that question is balls in their own syrup. All right, I'm going to read off these seven names on my list, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's somebody associated with Calvin Klein ads or somebody associated with Fruit of the Loom ads. Every time you see one, if it's somebody from a Calvin Klein undies ad, press 1. If it's somebody associated with ads for Fruit of the Loom, press 2. And if you want to skip one, press 4. You get $1,000 for each right answer, and I'll take away 1000 for every wrong answer or for those that you didn't get to. Alright, I'm going to start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. It's showtime. Mark Wahlberg, Calvin Klein, or Antonio Sabato Jr. Michael Bergen. Paulo Suarez. The Apple Guy. The Green Grapes Guy. One more, the Purple Grapes Guy. That'll do it. You know, you only got four of them right, which is not very reassuring for the rest of the game, is it? Let's look at your new score. Hey, keep it to yourself. Your score could be going down. Let's try some more here. Time to pick a category. The category is 100% George Burns Free. You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. She's pissed. He's pissed. We're, We're pissed. pissed. So pissed, pissed about, about a question. question. We're pissed about... Okay, this pissed about a question letter comes to us from a Gwen A. And she's one of a few people who are pissed about a religious question we wrote. Let's see what Gwen has to say. Sorry, but you are wrong, wrong, wrong. 
the Immaculate Conception does not refer to Mary's birth. It refers to the Virgin Mary conceiving and giving birth to Jesus Christ. Your writers can check this out in any religion department at any university. Um, well, Gwen, we decided to look into this again for you, but rather than going to some university mortals tainted by sin and thus fallible, we called in a special guest star for this question. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to my close personal friend, God. Hello, my people. I have a question for you, and I would just like to say that it is Gwen who is wrong, wrong, wrong. And I'm, oh, I'm none too pleased. Suppose I punish Gwen for making false assumptions. If I send the person who was involved in the biblical assumption to do the dirty work, who would pay Gwen a visitation? Moses' mother, Jonah, Job, or Mary? The assumption refers to the time... Uh, I'm sorry, my bad. The assumption refers to the time when Mary was taken up into heaven, body and all. You do that very well. Thank you. And it is not to be confused with the Immaculate Conception, which for the last time refers to the conception of Mary, not Jesus. And I guess you would know, being omniscient and omnipotent and all. Trust me on this. Okay, that's God, everybody. God. All right, pick a category. Let's have a big warm welcome for somebody smoke that ham. You get it right, you get 2K. Okay, you know the book Charlotte's Web, right? Hey, what doesn't say love if not a spider writing neat things about you in her web? Imagine Charlotte wrote her spider web messages to Wilbur in Pig Latin. Which of the following would Wilbur see in the web? Summicus Picacus, I'm say Ikpe, Sub and Pubig, or Gip Emos. In Pig Latin, the first consonant sound of a word is moved to the end of the word, and A is attached after that. Unfortunately, Wilbur couldn't understand Pig Latin and had no idea what Charlotte was talking about when she wrote Orye Aikenbeg, 